I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. Ready. My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. You ever seen a swoop bike? I've yes. seen them at the... Is you one of the Ready. Sith? My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. On it. You want to look like a bully. It's open. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. My mama says I have to stay up. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Please, don't take me for question. I, I don't know anything, I swear. the Sith, ain't you? If you want to search the place, go ahead. I'm just an ordinary citizen minding his own business. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean.
Karadumpa Kumba Yamoka Fata. Dumpa Kunba Yia Moka Pata. I got you. In King Kunoba Mulirachi Kun, Tomna Punsha Nyunyan. Pamulchi Kamana. Ichuta, Yun Patisa, Imani Chalora Kun. Bona! Skronki to pecnimo, ci i ta kanki chana kilikon. Tony tuama ji, human ak un tikatune, ci wa e aita kanki chana, ci wi aita kachonchi. Skronki to pecnimo. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. Inba muli ra buona ji. Inba. Chi wa e aita kanki chana. Chi wi aita. Sorry, but your kind aren't welcome in here. The hidden backs don't care much for you, Seth. The swoop gangs rule down here, not you. You may have conquered Upper Terrace, but you don't have enough troops to sweep the whole lower city. You come down here in force, and we'll pick you up in hit and run battles and vanish like smoke into the back alleys and hidden tunnels where you'll never find us. Stick to the upper city where people are actually scared of you. Your threats don't count for much down here. Sorry, but your kind. 
The swoop gang's rule. You come down. Stick to the upper. Ready. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no Prata don't know, Sarja! It's you a Benki! What on our Mamulira? Can't you do a shark? No bully mully, Raji, Johnny Tun, Turji, we eat a door. Bola una dicek! Bala mure slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. Better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. You guys are behind with your payment. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu, Rana no Prata don't know, Sarja, it's you a penki. What on a wama mulera? Can't you do a shark? No a bully mully, Raji, Johnny Tun. Turji chiwi ita do bola una dicek bala mure slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment.
those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. You can't. Not unless you're on official Sith business. And if you were, someone would have already given you the papers. March on back to the base, talk to your commanding officer, and tell... Ready. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thak? Maybe so. But this door is locked. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Yes, what's on your You got it. Go in and speak to... Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. 
Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker spy. Forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City, and our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulkers, and that's okay in my book. The Vulkers stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulkers found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulkers aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulker base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulker scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the Lower City. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race.
I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. I suggest you hurry. Go away. She's gonna eat you. Kimba Muli Rab on a G. Kimba no kun mix at a bomb. Kakin Janawa Bagaon. Kung Abashun ni Chunchi. Kipona. Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata. Chi yoka kutumpa kulpa yia. One. Oscar. She's gonna eat you. The Hupa Motenia no Yiji Piti. Kipona. Kava tumpa kupalea muka bata. Jiyoka kutumpa kupalea. Two. Jiyoka ku. Kimba muli rab wana ji. Kuyami juski chika nai. Kuba maska dwana chichopa muska. Jiska da sogi kupa bona na chachu. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Chum da pike. Three. Go away. One.
to smart. Normally, my name's Holden. I'm one of his top couriers. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant, but even the Evanhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. Davik's pretty upset about it. It's not like it's some big secret. Davik's ship is the fa- Any ship leave- Davik's pretty upset. Fine by me. This game, I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Paris. Calls it I'll stick with the bounties, Davik. Cavadumpa Kapalia Monapata Ti un pardo Kenchopa Chawi Ti Chok Twi Bonanak Tonga Boksh Shachika Ton Kipona Bonanakacho Kimba Mulera Tuana Tawupa Botemia Gotachi Chonai Tao Rundi Hau Tonga Ton Jibe <laughs> I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. <laughs> What's on your mind? Me? Well, I 
I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're the one who wanted to know more about me. Well, this is it. This is what I am. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. I know that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later.
Yes? 